Hey, welcome back. We're back in Timberborn again today in our Beaver Springs map. And today we had a set of plans, but uh, unfortunately we're going to have to change them. I'll, uh, I'll tell you what happened here. Originally, I had planned to take our railroad up here and set up some more stuff in this corner with our mine here. Take our railroad around and start moving across the map this way. However... It seems that uh, something in the game doesn't like that, because every time I do that, it crashes. So, we're going to do something else. In fact, we're going to start a set of other projects. The first project that we've got is going to use this mountain over here. We're going to try and fill this all in with some of these platforms here. Now, why am I doing that? Well, I could be crazy. No, let me rephrase that. I probably am, but that has nothing to do with this. The real reason I'm doing this is we're going to fill this in and we're going to use this as a place to put observatories. And we're just going to max out our science using this area. I figure you want an observatory up as high as possible, so we'll get as many places up there as we can and make this into like a nice science center, uh, a big science mountain, if you will. And then we will be able to purchase everything, whether we use everything or not, I don't know, but we will eventually purchase everything. So let's just get this filled in here. We'll put all these in here. We'll put all these in here. We'll put even some of these in here. Maybe. There we go. Okay, and then to get these last ones over the actual uh, place here. Oop, better fill these in. There we go. We don't want to miss that. Let's get to those. We're going to use some reinforced platforms. And we're going to try... Yep, there we go. To get this completely covered in. There's our side platforms. These are three wide. Let's make sure we're facing the right way. There we go. We want these in there, these in there, and these in there. And that should fill that out, and we'll plan out the science center whenever that gets done. Something else that I really want to get in here. I want to keep working on this today. And the first thing we're going to do is knock out this wall, or at least attempt to knock out this wall. We've already got a couple of dynamite down here, which easy to take out. There we go. Put a couple more in here. Now, as for how to take this wall out, we are going to delete this, and I'm going to delete that too. I'm going to delete the road here. We're going to delete the road here too. And we are going to... Where's our decoration? Let's put a shrub up here. That'll look nice. They should be able to pick all that up. Now, let's take these out of the middle. Do -do -do. Those can go. Yep. And then I'm going to take out two. And we'll even take out two here. There we go. We need to get rid of the paths here. And put some bridges right above this. We need the three there we go excellent and then they can just throw dynamite down off the bridge not something i would recommend doing outside of timberborn but in timberborn it works pretty well and then we'll just leave this one in the middle tall like that it won't really matter because the water will just go around it anyway for the most part let's go ahead and we're just going to grab this and go straight out from here there we go and we're going to start chunking out this area as well there we go we want to get rid of all of that and all of this there we go i was afraid it was about to crash there but no it decided to keep going so we'll let them work on that here as they can but let's go ahead and get in the decoration on the back side here so the first thing we want to get our path all the way around here Sometimes I wish it would draw in a curve, 
I mean, it makes sense why it doesn't. They're all based on blocks, but I wish you could just, like, draw instead of having to keep clicking and click your way around on these diagonal paths. Maybe someday they'll get in a little bit more of a diagonal or a tool that helps or something that uh, really lets that be a bit easier. But we're going to take and, of course, put our hedges around here. For now, though, we're just going to go in places at two, like this. We're not going to put our corner ones in there because that blocks some of those off. We'll come back and put those in. Other thing I want to do, we're going to skip one spot right there. There we go. Get all of these in there. Some of these will have to be skipped anyway because the path has to go through here, but that's okay. Let's grab a nice Cory treated gate. There we go. And we will put a, yeah, let's put a bench up here. And they can look out across the land and enjoy the view from up there. For the longest time, we've had this blank open space over here on the far side of the mountain. And I think we're going to turn that into some beaver living quarters as well. To do that, we're going to take this right here. We will take you out of there. Going through train. I don't want to derail you quite yet. If at all. We'll put in you... We'll put in a crossing here for it. There we go. And now we can just simply go straight up this hill. I think I'd like to put it actually on the second level for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I think it'll look nice on the second level here. Now that that is in there, let's see if we can get our passenger station in. We want this on this side. There we go. Put in one regular track here. Do I want a crossing there? No, I don't need a crossing there at the moment. We're just going to make you kind of a dead end there. We're going to take a spiral staircase. There we go. That looks good. Now let's also take a road and we will... Yeah, let's come up right here. Get rid of that. And we'll grab the metal stairs, just because we can. Let's find our houses. How many houses fit across here? Well, exactly four. That's nice. Do exactly four fit across here? Uh, four and an extra. That's all right, too. We can live with that, I'm pretty sure. We'll take some stairs down here. And then here, connect everything in. Here we go. Of course, step over and across. Come down all of this way. Up to the platform. And then down here to our second set of houses. And that should hold quite a few more beavers till we stop running out of stuff. Speaking of running out of stuff, we are slowly losing our trees. We have plenty of trees over here to cut. I just don't know that we've got the beavers over here to haul them in. So we're going to do a little work over here. We're going to remove that one. We're going to remove that one. And I believe those are already in there. They are. So we are going to... Let's see. We're going to leave those and we're going to come this way. Let's try about here. And we will put another one right there. And they can cut all of those down. In the meantime, we will put more trees in here. Let's see, what do we got? Oaks. We're just going to fill this whole area with oaks. And we'll see what these can reach to once we put a set of stairs in here. Back over at our summer camp, there is something that I forgot. I can't believe... I forgot a huge part of summer camp. Well, really, I wouldn't know. I actually never went to summer camp, but we're going to pretend that I did. And from what everybody tells me, 
Swimming is a huge part of summer camp. Swimming down at the lake. So we're going to... Actually, I don't want it that close, do I? No, I sure don't. We'll move it back one. There we go. We want it here. There we go. All in, and we are going to put in some of our Lido's. There we go. We'll put in a couple more over. Oh, we'll put one in there. How many can I fit in right here? There we go. Three. That's not bad. We'll put another one in there. One in there. One, two here. Can't put any in there because they're already on the other side. But we can put one here. There we go. That looks good. And now we just got to get them all connected up. So let's take this nice road here. Come out of here. We'll come down from here just so we know that it matches. There we go. And we'll go all the way around here. And out this way. Let's grab this path. Come down through here. There we go. Or not. I thought I grabbed that one, but... Uh, oh well. No big deal. Let's... Try that again. There we go. And while we're here, let's go ahead and make a bridge across here. So... I think I would like to do, we're going to take this out of here, which means I'm going to have to connect the road in something like that. We're going to put in one piece bridges. There we go. And then we're going to use a super secret technique here. That's really only available through mods. So, what we're going to do, we're going to bend the laws of physics just slightly. Just slightly. We're going to grab a platform like so. Yep. And you notice this side platform mm, goes something like that. You can see it right underneath there. And we will try, let's see if we can do something like this. Oops, that's not where we wanted it. We wanted it like this. And then if I were to say, build this off the side here and then say, oops, that platform's no more. We have a floating bridge in between the two and it works just fine. You do have to put kind of a weird, well, that was weird. We're going to put you on there. I don't know what you're doing, but you get out of there. So, yeah, that's a, a self-made bridge. And uh, we're just going to pretend that uh, we did nothing unusual there. While we're waiting for some of those larger projects to get done, we're going to put in a little bit of convenience stuff over here for these guys. They've got food. In fact, I should prioritize that so they actually get some food. But they don't have much else over here. So let's toss in well-being. We're going to toss a shower in here at the end for them. There we go. And we're going to do some statues. They want a decoration. Let's put in about a beaver here and a beaver here. There we go. We'll put in a bench for them just in case they want to sit down after a long day. Let's do maybe a tent. Uh, there it is. Medical bed. Put in one of those. Do they need another? No, I don't think they need another. Let's get a shrine. We'll do a little bit of decoration, too. Put that whole thing in there. What can I get? 
We don't need one of these, but we're going to get one anyway. Let's see, what else could they use? Let's toss in maybe a Scarecrow. Well, we've already got one Scarecrow there, so we're... You know what? What about a gate? Let's do a big old gate there, and we'll put in... Hmm... Maybe a lantern? There we go. Just its own little lantern there. Our beavers finally got rid of those trees, so we can come in here, add a couple more things. Let's add one of those, and then we need more lumberjacks to be able to pick up more trees, because we're still on the path of getting negative resources. So let's just put those in, and hopefully... That will help pick up some more stuff. While waiting for some of my beavers to get some more stuff made and our population to go back up, I realize I made a grave mistake here. Do you see it? Because I see it right away. Yep, that's right. We did not put a shrub in here. So we're going to do that. I don't know what I would have done if I had missed that. I would have felt absolutely terrible. We could not have continued. But we're going to have to pause it so that they can get all of those bushes in the back in as well. I returned to our large cattail farm, and it looks like, unfortunately, they are not keeping up. Our two bots in two water dumps just can't do it on their own. So we'll have to just toss in a third. We'll put it right in the middle. And we'll even just do something like this. There we go. We'll set that one to it, and hopefully that helps keep those a little wetter. I'm definitely going to need some more bots, so at this point, I think we're going to sacrifice some of the building bots and move them over to making more bots and hope that all of that can kick in. Let's put you at about that rating. We'll do the same for you, just to make sure that there's always bots in there. We're going to do the same thing here. And we don't have them prioritized, because I want them to go and pick up this. That way our haulers don't have to bring that for them, and they can focus on just keeping these as full as they possibly can. So, we're just going to set those up. We want that. And... We'll get these guys in there. There we go. This all looks pretty good. We are starting to finally catch back up on beavers and bots alike. So we're going to make another area for work for the moment. We're going to get our hauling posts in here to hopefully take care of some of those unemployed beavers. And then we're also going to toss in a couple of builder's huts. Probably two, and maybe third here. And can we even fit one more in there? We sure can. That should be plenty of builder's huts and various things to fill up our beaver's time and give them kind of a sense of purpose. Get stuff moved around, get stuff built, help things go a little bit faster for us. One quick change that I wanted to make down here, I actually want to take this out and we are going to drop one dynamite right off the edge and we might even drop a second one. And that way our, our uh, shower that we put up here hopefully lasts for a little bit longer. Our dynamite did all get put in down here, so let's take a second, let's pause it. We'll detonate that one from there, detonate that one from there, and... Here we go. Whew, that dynamite. Definitely drops the frame rates, but it's always fun to watch. So now we just have to do the same thing on the other side. Should not be too difficult though. Let's draw around this. There we go. Come straight out from here, just the same that we know those dynamite can get in there. First things first, let's drop 
this edge. And then we'll put dynamite in here too. And go ahead and get ready for them to drop that. There we go. Our platform up here did manage to get completed. So it's time to set up for our science center. And I think what we're going to do here is... Well, first we're going to grab the observatory. There we go. Thought I already had that, but I uh, guess not. We're going to put one on all four edges here. No, I don't want to get rid of that. I want to get rid of that. There we go. Let's put our observatory here. One more try. This time with feeling. There we go. And we will put one here. And I would also like to put one here. Here we go. In fact, I probably will need to remove that as well. Let's put in the observatory here. Perfect. And now let's get some roads up here. Maybe a nice road, something like this. It'll go around the side. And we'll take out these because they're not needed. Let's take out... Nope, I would like that. There we go. We want you to go straight to here. And I think I need to go... Am I off-center on both of those? How did I accomplish that? That's that's terrible. You know what? Eh. I'm kind of feeling more on the on-center one. So we're going to have them rebuild that. Mm. Actually, is that on-center? Is this one off-center? No, the whole mountain's off-center. We're not out of order. You're out of order. Let's try this again. Let's move you over just slightly. This is why in carpentry, eyeballing things is not a great idea. I sometimes try and accomplish that whenever I do some woodworking. Unfortunately... It always ends up like this. Uh, I don't know if that's because my house itself is uh, slightly off or I just cannot quite see straight. But either or, that should be a little better here. We'll get those going. Now, they're each going to need some power. So to do power, they only need 200 apiece, correct? Yep. Let's grab our gravity batteries. And we'll drop a row of gravity batteries, maybe behind just like that. We'll drop one over here. There we go. The place already feels more scientific. And then one set just off the edge over here. There we go. I could put one there, but it would be better to put it there. Uh, we'll hold off on that, for now, at least. Now, let's get in the actual power sources. We'll do... One here. One here. Each one will be, uh, basically powering itself. We'll do two there, two there, two there, and then... One on either side here. We're gonna have to move our path, though, aren't we? Yep. Let's go ahead and get that out of here. Nope, not you. We'll move this. And we want you about right there. That looks good to me. And then we'll take the path and just go back around here. There we go. Now they can work on that just as much as they like. Hopefully they get everything in there. We'll connect up the power here to it in just a second. In the middle, I could do more observatories. But I think the four is going to be enough for us. So we're going to do a couple extra science huts in here. There we go. We'll put one, two, how about three, four, uh, maybe. There we go. 
Every once in a while, it just throws a fit about something. I'm thinking it does not like uh, those beavers that fall through the map every once in a while. But you never know. You know what? Let's move these up. Again, see, I made the same mistake twice. I bowled something when I should have put the actual place down for it. All right. Well, now that they've got that up here, let's do a little decoration. Uh, I don't think we can get one of those up here, but we sure can get at least a couple of these. I mean, scientists need a nice place to go, don't they? Put two here. Two here. Uh, let's do two here. And we'll spin this around. And we'll even do two here. Now we've got some overhang here. Actually, we'll move that over one too. There we go. Now we've got the proper overhang. That should work just fine. Let's put up some decorations up here. We're going to do a very scientific Tory gate. One there. One there. One here. And one here. There we go. A nice scientific set of Tory gates. We are going to do some extra wind observation equipment around the aisle here. There we go. We probably should fence some of this stuff off here. So that uh, nobody wanders in where they're not supposed to. Let's see. We'll do something like this maybe. Put a fence around this. It can go from here. And here. And we'll just go out to the side. There we go. Now that we've encapsulated somewhat our... Little science observatory centers here. Uh, we're going to go here. There we go. Up to here. Over to here. And down here. There we go. Now, let's do a couple of bushes here and there. About there, 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 there and there. Hopefully I didn't block the doors. Of course I did. Because for a third time in a row, uh, I have once again not paid attention to where things are being put. That shouldn't surprise anybody at this point, I don't think, though. Let's put the Tory gate here. We'll put one here. There you go. And now, uh, yeah, that looks good. We'll do a bush here, a bush here. Yep, we'll decorate this up pretty nice. This we're going to have to figure out, I think. Because it is kind of the odd one out with the path coming in there. I suppose we could move some of this path. Uh, no, I actually want the path. There we go. This could come over here. There we go. And now if I get rid of this little bit of path here. Which they won't be happy with. But they'll have to learn to live with it. There we go. There we go. Get rid of those two. Redraw our fence in around here. There we go. There we go. Definitely do not need these here. Yep. Uh, I will remove this. Yep. We'll put that fence back in just a second. Uh, and there's our decoration. Fence. Fence. Uh, yes, fence. That is what we want. We'll just go around this way. That can go in there like that. And that should be just fine. They should build some of this stuff up first. But just in case, we're going to pause these on each side so they can get in there. And build what they need to build. We'll put that in there like that. 
We'll pause these so they still have access there. Do I have that out one too far? I might have that out one too far. Yeah, it only needed to go there. Did I make that mistake on any other one? Yep, sure did. Uh, count the number of times that I tried to eyeball things and it didn't go right. I think that's number five, if you're counting along at home. But uh, if I was off, tell me. There we go. That's good enough. All right, now let's get power in here. We will, just in case, do some smaller ones here, smaller ones here, smaller ones there. There we go. This is going to be tricky. Uh, we're just going to connect you in kind of strangely like that. You can go here. And you will be an odd one, too. There you go. That ought to get everything connected in over here. And we've got a nice... Nice place going in. I should probably connect these... Uh, these areas, though, shouldn't I? Let's grab a path. And we will simply do something like this. There we go. They are science parks. For doing science. Because that's important. That is looking pretty nice. Oh, I also need... We'll do this. We better hook these up, shouldn't we? Where is the... There's the entrance for that one. There we go. Science. Science. Science, and science. There we go. All right. Well, that is getting built at pretty rapid rates here, but uh, it's still going to take a minute or two. Let's finish up. We'll put some more paths in here, just so they can get around a little bit easier. There we go. We'll put them in over here. Maybe come around the building here. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but you know what? That doesn't bother me that much. Not a perfectly symmetrical thing. So we will uh, just live with that the way it is, and we'll come back and take a look at it here in a moment. And here we have it. Our science mountain is complete, and we are generating quite a bit of science. In just the last couple of days, I think we've pulled in 10,000 science, and it's just going to keep going up from there. Hopefully the wind kicks up and recharges our batteries a little bit, but we have plenty stored in the gravity batteries, so we should be all right. But I think that's where we're going to call it today. Next time, I think we'll work on another project on another mountain. Plus, we're kind of looking low on logs. Now that this big project is out of the way, it might start to recover a little bit. But uh, if possible, we'll work over in that far corner where it wouldn't let us work before. If not, we'll find a different place to work. But just want to say thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.